Book haul! In no particular order, let's start with End of Story by AJ Fenn. Based on how little I know about any of these books that I bought, this one here is sort of like a murder mystery in a way, and it follows this man and he reaches out to this journalist, he's like well known, and is basically like, hey, I only got three months to, left to live, can you write my life story? And while they're kind of going through his life story, the journalist is interested in investigating this kind of like cold case murder where well the man's wife and kid disappeared and so they're kind of in a way like solving the case together but then something mysterious happens a body washes up and it's like the past is being hidden and so like the daughter gets involved as well so yeah this one i'm pretty excited it said that it's great for fans of knives out and i absolutely love that movie so yeah as soon as i saw that i was like okay yeah, i need to i need to buy this so yeah i'm excited to read this next up i finally picked up the housemaid by frida mcfadden i am currently listening to the teacher by frida mcfadden on audiobook and i have been wanting to read the housemaid probably since december i put it on my december like wish list and nobody got it for me so I had to get it for myself now and I'm excited about it. I think that it's basically it's about a housemaid and she wants to basically take the place of the wife and then I think she gets trapped in the attic and like it only locks from one way and so I don't know if she's like held prisoner there or what but I have never heard anything negative about this book and I've been wanting to read it forever and it's really short and sweet so yeah I'm pretty excited. Next up we have Gareth Brown's Book of Doors and this cover and it was like a staff pick of the month is what stood out to me. I was like wow this is a beautiful cover like what is this about? And so it seems like it's a, about a woman who works at a bookstore great setting. I love settings that take place at bookstores. And she has a bunch of customers and she loves to hear about their stories, their life stories. And one in particular is this like older gentleman. They talk all the time. He has some really great stories. And then unfortunately he passes away, but he leaves her this book of doors. And I'm not entirely sure like if it kind of helps you time travel or like what it is but it sounds really interesting and then there's like people who start to try to hunt her down because they want this rare book as well and so yeah this one sounds really really cool next up we got we're sleeping girls lie by frida abike ayamid and i'm really interested in kind of how this story looks i don't think i ever would have picked it up because i don't like covers that look like this like that have people on it it always throws me off but because it's a staff pick I was actually just reading the little like handout that's they have in the store and then I was like oh what book is that and then I picked this up because it's basically about this like prestige boarding school and everybody there is kind of <laughs> like mean girls but the twist with it is that there's a murder and it's the main character who I think maybe this is the main character and the main character her roommate is the one who gets murdered and so everybody thinks that she did it and then more murders start to show up so it sounds really cool and i'm really honestly really excited to read it like the first page i always like to read the first page before i buy the book and i was like wow that's a hook here i'll read it to you the world was silent when she drowned the weight of the stars of the universe and of her mind were like an anchor pulling her closer to oblivion as her lungs caught on fire and her vision went black her heart began to slow her final thoughts lingered, wading through the tangled mess of veins and empty space. And then she whispered the same words they'd later find on the note she left. I'm sorry. Isn't that good? Like, that's just like the first page. And then look at this. Like, wow. And then I saw the name Holly Jackson, screamed and had to pick this up. This is the reappearance of Rachel Prince. And Holly Jackson is very well known for her Good Girl's Guide to Murder trilogy. I am absolutely obsessed with that series. Like I read it, I think last year. So, so good. So I saw this and I was like, I'm not waiting for this to become like soft cover. I didn't even know there was another book. I need to follow this author, author because like, I love her work so, so much. So this one's interesting to me because it's basically a woman's mother goes missing for like 17 years or something. And they're making a documentary about the disappearance. And so they're obviously interviewing like the daughter and all of this. And then she comes back after so many years, just being gone, nobody knowing what happened. She comes back and she has a super wild tale and her daughter thinks she's making it up and because it just sounds too like abnormal. And then the TV producers, of course, are like, whoa, like they want to eat this up kind of thing. So it sounds really, really cool. And I love it. I have very high expectations because Holly Jackson is amazing. 
I finally jumped on the bandwagon and I picked up Bride by Allie Hazelwood. This is a very, very popular book right now about a vampire and a werewolf and they have like an arranged marriage. And that's pretty much all I know about it, to be honest. I think it sounds cool. It's like a nice little spin on like a classic kind of story. And I hear that it's very well done in the spice department. So yeah, and it's like really short as well. So it's like a short fantasy spicy cool little book. So yeah, I'm really excited to see what this is about. I love vampires. So last but certainly not least is Homecoming by Kate Morton. This cover definitely drew my attention. I am definitely a sucker for beautiful covers. I know they say don't judge a book by its cover, but I do. I'm very guilty of it. I've been hurt by books because of their pretty covers and I think that they're going to be amazing. But anyways, this cover is so beautiful. It's so gorgeous. And what's interesting, not only is the cover, but the story of it, it's kind of like spans generations. And that's always one of my favorite kind of things. And it's this journalist and she ends up coming across this like book of unsolved mysteries. She's trying to like find something to write about. And then she starts to notice there's a very strange connection between this one unsolved murder and her family's story and how they may possibly be linked. And so I think that that just sounds so, so cool. I love when it's like, ooh, am I uncovering a dark family secret right now? Like, ah, yes, beautiful, beautiful. So yeah, I'm really excited. This is also just another really cool book that I'm excited to read. So yeah, these are all of the books that I picked up and I'm gonna put them down now. And they're all so beautiful. And I honestly had no intention of buying that many books, but you know, the books they call to you. They call to your soul. Funny enough, my mission was to buy a new pair of sandals for the summer, but you know, not only did I get the new sandals, but I also got like all these cool books. So, I mean, it was a win-win for me. So yeah, thanks so much for watching. If you're, what is this like random light in me? If you're interested in watching me read any of those books, definitely hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and turn on the bell notification. That way you get notified anytime a new video comes out. If you enjoyed this video and if any of these books sounded interesting to you, definitely hit the like button and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.